Hello friends, if you are getting 500 internal server error in your WordPress website, then this video is for you. Make sure to take the backup of your website before doing this process. So let's begin. First of all, I will request you to go to uh, your uh, C panel. In the C panel, you can click on this file manager. After clicking it, uh, scroll down and click on public.html. Herein, you need to locate this stxs file. So if you are not able to locate this as stxs file, go to settings and click this option show hidden files right it is already uh, checked in my case so this may be uh, corrupted and that may be causing 500 error so uh, how you can check it you can just right click on it click on uh, rename and uh, change it to dot b a k and save it rename the file right now refresh the page and see if you are still getting this 500 internal error then this is not the cause of stxs file and then you can rename it back to normal one make sure to check whether it is resolved or not right rename it back if it, it this method does not resolve your issue now uh, there may be the problem with php memory limit so now you need to check it again in file manager you need to look for wp config.php file go to public.html now wp config scroll down this is the file wp config.php you can and simply click on edit click on edit after this php you need to type in define right so you need to tap this one define wp um, underscore memory limit n64 and just click on save changes now refresh your website and see whether it is working fine or not if you are still getting this 500 uh, error message then this may not be the cause of this uh, this thing so you just remove them if it is if the issue still not resolved just remove it i will give you uh, another method now uh, the third method is to uh, deactivate plugins one by one and check your website you can go to uh, install plugins in your wordpress website just deactivate like these plugins deactivate one by one and uh, start checking uh, refreshing your website whether it works or not deactivate make sure to deactivate one plugin at a time and then refresh your website deactivate this plugin then and then refresh the website and uh, make sure to check uh, whether uh, this issue is resolved or not and uh, this is very important also go to the uh, settings and permalinks 
and just click on save do no more changes just click on save and refresh your website and if this issue still persists then I will tell you another method what you can do you can go to the file manager again here in you can go to file manager uh, look for uh, WP content here WP content you can just uh, rename this uh, plugin uh, folder like rename it to dot test and rename file this will uh, deactivate all the plugins in a website now refresh your website and if you still get this error then this may not be the cause of this plugin so rename it rename them again to the old one right so uh, now the another matter is you debug your website but this is a very tricky issue and you may uh, not be able to do it if you're a beginner so you can de contact your developer as well for doing this uh, one more thing I will like to tell you go to public.html folder check the permission label the permission of these files should be 0755 and 0644 if not they may not be causing the internal server issue make sure that to take the backup of your website before doing uh, all this process and in case you still get this error then I would request you to contact your web hosting company because they are the one who can then resolve this issue so I hope uh, these methods can help you uh, fix this 500 internal error issue and in case you find this video helpful just click on the like button and subscribe my channel thank you friends bye bye and take care